Does anybody else prefer Pepsi Max to Coke? I do. So what's going on everyone, welcome back to another video now. Today, as you probably guessed by the title, I'm going to be trying to fit some LED headlights. I've been waiting for a couple of parts to come if you remember the last video, that didn't go so well. I didn't want to cut the original um, like H4 headlight rubber grommets, I didn't want to cut them up and butcher them to make the LED headlights fit. Now these are actually made for LED headlights, I picked them up off eBay, do a £3.50 or something sent from China. So I've had to wait for them quite a while, I've also left them like in the packet for like a good week as well just in case of everything going on. But I think we're all in the uh, same sort of boat now with infection rates and whatever else. Either way, that's the plan, I'm going to try and get it done today, it says, fingers crossed. Last time we tried it I just didn't want to do it, but thanks to you guys as well, I got a little bit of help on the last video that the bulbs actually dismantle. Now that's the first, this is the first time I've ever looked at LED bulbs. I did not think bulbs would dismantle, <laughs> so, but yeah, it looks like they're quite a modular design, it's just the actual LED section that's one size fits all and then the actual plate that goes on the back of them. You can remove it. Those people that know what LEDs are like, you'll know. I'm teaching out suck eggs, but you get the idea. I didn't know they were modular. Now I know. You live, you learn, you learn. Anyway. So these are the new ones, and you can tell the diameter. It's slightly different compared to a standard H4 bulb. And then these are the two caps. The original one, as you can tell, the diameter is a lot smaller than the new one. It does look a lot wider, but that's because it pushes in. And this section here is as wide as that section there. I hope it works. And as I was saying before, that's the part there that removes, which I didn't know before. Now, as you can see, there's very, very little room down here. I also had to try and get the side light in. You can see the rubber cap there, just sort of pushed into the headlight. The um, LED headlight is in place, it's rotated. I need to make sure it's rotated the right way around though, so that the um, high beam and low beam work the right way around. And you can see there the side light that I've put in, the LED side light to go along with the headlight. But the side light is just underneath, don't know if you can see that very well, but it's just underneath the, the cup that holds the headlight. So that's really awkward to get to. And then you've got to try and angle in the headlight itself. Pushing this cap in was a nightmare because the caps, although it's the right size apparently for these headlights, is a bit too big, like the, the rubber grommet. You have to physically force it in and it's got like multiple like layers to it. There you go, so these sort of like layers, I have to like force them into the headlight. So yeah, not the um, not the best design, but so it's like forced with these two layers in now into the headlight. That let me put the LED bulb in, let me rotate it into place. You can just see at the top of the headlight there that the opening for the LED elements facing upwards and, and therefore down as well and the side light just there but yeah bloody hell what a, what a nightmare that was literally 15 minutes trying to push everything in and get everything in the right position and stuff and i might have to rotate yet yeah, the led headlight 180 degrees because the the lights if you can see on this one the lights are at the top and the bottom for low beam high beam yeah what bollock i'm gonna try the headlights now anyway Fight. Fight. so good in comparison old yellow crap and the side light bulb as well and then the new one oh, look at how good that looks bright bright white i would say as well that the side light if you can pull focus on it the side light has got a tint of blue a tint of yellow it's like it's like all all mixed up it's weird but they are bright bright white especially when you compare them like just side to side look at that Old yellow shit, pure white, fucking mint, in the non-sarcastic sense. So I'm gonna crack on now with that side, oh joy. 
A few moments later. Not bad, not bad. Finally got them both done. Look really good as you've just seen. I think it was about time as well because uh, the uh, side light on one side had already gone. So I can go straight in the bin. Although I do have like a pack of these. Obviously not needed now. Well that was a ball ache. I did on this side have a lot more room as you can tell. I wanted to get the, uh, the other side done first because that's where all the power steering pump and reservoir and all that sort of stuff is. So this side I did the side light first which you can see just there in the center of the screen. There we go. So I did that first before doing like the, the big rubber cap and that made it a little bit easier. Forcing this rubber cap in this side was also a lot easier with the additional room. And then the, the plug, the H4 plug, that would normally go straight into the back of the bulb, just there, just hangs now with the plug for the LED. The fan's nice and open with the fins to keep it cool. So all in all, successful install. So that's it for today's video and the LED light install. Now I picked these up as I mentioned in the previous video, I picked these up for 20 quid. They are, they are decent by the look of it and time will tell how long they last, but for 20 pound I'm really not expecting much. So I'm probably gonna keep these in the car. These are the original bulbs and caps. And that's one of the reasons really why I wanted to keep, you know, these caps and not have to butcher these caps to, to get the LED lights to fit because what's to say these LEDs are gonna last long? Do you know what I mean? Like, what's the going to last at all? So, time will tell. I'm fitting them in the best part of the year in summer when it's dark very, very rarely. I will test them out tonight and see just how bright they are. But yeah, look, they look pretty decent to be fair for 20 quid. And it's, you know, it's uh, electrical, isn't it? If it works, it works. It shouldn't shouldn't have any kind of failure, so to speak, unless it's, it's, it's done its time, you know? So, yeah, I'll be keeping these just in case. Just throwing them in the bag because I'm really not bothered about them. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll be doing something a little bit more exciting than just bulbs on the car. Um, but I think the, the look and, and the little sort of things, the little things make a car definitely, in my opinion. I think um, things like bright white lights and small registration plates and like tints and, and um, lowering the car and things like that. I think these are all little things that just make the car 10 times more. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.